Hello and welcome to our third Best Places to Work in the Federal Government online speaker series sponsored by our partners at the Boston Consulting Group. Today's video features Substance Abuse Mental Health Services Administration Assistant Secretary Dr. Miriam Delphin Rittman. Dr. Delphin Rittman, thank you so much for joining us. It's a real pleasure. Um, we're going to get things started here and, and learn a little bit about the work you've done. Uh, SAMHSA has come a long way in improving employee engagement since uh, you began the, uh, leading the agency about a year and a half ago. Um, we'd love to just start by learning uh, how you went about identifying where to start improving SAMHSA's culture. So to, uh, one place we started was uh, you know, just looking at our, our ranking and, and where we are in terms of the best places to work uh, within government. And, um, and for a number of years, you know, SAMHSA was, was near the bottom of that list. And um, so I, I was real interested, and it's certainly my team, and, you know, in, in addressing that and seeing sort of what was driving that and, you know, how can we um, hear directly from employees around what their experiences are, um, we know that in terms of where we are with behavioral health, it's such a challenging time. And so, uh, you know, I certainly felt it's vital that our employees are, are, you know, working at their best, that they feel good about coming into work and they feel good about their work. They feel good about SAMHSA. Uh, and so really that's where we started. Uh, we ultimately ended up developing a campaign uh, with uh, employee input and, and participation. We call it SAMHSA Strong. Uh, and the campaign, each of the uh, letters within Strong uh, really uh, um, is about various principles that, uh, you know, that we felt are important. So, for example, the S is about supporting staff, um, supporting staff in all of their work. And uh, the T uh, is about being transparent, you know, transparent and open in our communications and honest. Uh, we felt that was really important. Uh, the R is about respect, you know, respecting uh, staff. We want staff to feel respected, to feel heard, to feel uh, that they're treated with dignity and respect and that they're appreciated for the work that they do daily. You know, that was, that was really important. Um, the O is for opportunity, you know, the opportunity for staff to gain skills and to grow in their work, uh, both in their work, but also in their career. And so that was something that was of real interest to folks. Uh, and then the end was, was necessary that, you know, staff engagement and working with staff and involving staff in this change process, this cultural change process for SAMHSA, um, that that was a vital necessary part of that work. Uh, and then the G is about, you know, employees uh, within SAMHSA just growing, have the opportunity to grow and having the opportunity to develop. And so, um, so we're excited about SAMHSA Strong. It has taken root and, uh, and folks feel really good about it. Fantastic. Um, yeah, share a little bit about just how you've seen um, just kind of the culture shift. How, how have things felt maybe different um, since unveiling this uh, campaign and, and moving on a lot of your action items? How have you seen kind of the energy at, at SAMHSA maybe more over time? Yeah, you know, it really has shifted. You know, we have... Um... Uh, you know, engagement ambassadors that have been helping with, uh, you know, engaging staff and, you know, each of the, the uh, centers and offices have developed a strategic plan based on the focus groups that, that we had, you know, we had did a series of focus groups and then strategic plans were developed within each of the office and centers. Uh, we have sort of SAMHSA strong champions or ambassadors, if you will, uh, that have been helping to lead some of that work. Uh, and, and what we're seeing, and, and we've done pulse surveys as well, because we really wanted to see, you know, what impact is all of this work having? Is it even making an impact? Uh, and so the surveys and the work of the ambassadors, what it's let us know is that people, uh, and what we're learning is that people do feel like things are beginning to change. And uh, Any final thoughts that you'd, uh, you have? Any recommendations for other agencies across government? Um, yeah, you know, I would say the, the change process is, is slow, it, or it, you know, it can be, but it's also, it's so rewarding. Um, it's so rewarding. And I think the thing that, um, that has been so valuable is really creating the space to, to be able to hear, um, but also to be able to listen and, and uh, you know, listen to uh, what the interests and ideas and, and passions are uh, from employees, because that can also often help to drive not only the vision for, for the work, but the culture change process as well. 
Uh, and, and I have felt so fortunate and just appreciative of staff that have leaned into this, uh, you know, leaned into this process and, and, uh, and sort of uh, are on this journey uh, with us all together. Amazing. Well, Dr. Delphin Rittman, thank you so much for your time. It's been a pleasure and congratulations to you and your, your full team uh, for the improvements that you've seen uh, this year and, and this, this year's uh, Best Places to Work Rankings and, and the Federal Employee Viewpoint Survey. Thank you. Take care. Thank you for having me.